trying to achieve at an urban scale, I guess buildings that had a really settled quality in quite a complex um, and diverse historic setting. Um, this site in particular spans the arc of the Mastersfield cricket pitch um, and it mediates, what's not maybe apparent initially, is it mediates a shift in scale from sort of smaller historic residential villas to the south of the site to the larger institutional um, buildings to the north. Yeah, Shuko products were um, identified for this project principally because the architect had a very defined uh, design brief. It was really important that uh, we achieve the details and the, the finite detail that uh, they wanted to achieve. We had a really strong relationship with a lot of the subcontractors by the main contractor on this project. Alucraft were one of the first subcontractors to be brought on board by the main contractor to work alongside the design team to develop some of the nuances of the design. Um, we have quite an intricate shadow gap um, trim detail around the windows um, where they interface with the brick face precast and we had a lot of discussions with Alucraft and their team as to how that could be realised, um, noting that the windows had to be installed fairly early into the CLT frame to make the building watertight. They also worked extensively with us to realise the design intent of the sort of bespoke spandrels that we have at low level of all of the windows. Um, that was something that they worked through an iterative process, submitting designs to ourselves. We would comment and return. Um, and I think actually we've achieved something really close to the design intent that we were looking for. The flexibility of the Shuko products allowed the design brief to be achieved. Um, Shuko were involved in the project um, before we were with the architect and the architect had already really uh, had a firm idea of what they wanted from Shuko. What we did was we developed it from that, did the engineering that needed to be done and uh, developed the final, the final outcome. Prior to a contractor and a subcontractor being involved, um, NMLA and the design team worked very closely with Shuko, um, probably from stage two. Um, we often sort of get in touch with their technical teams. We're based in London. Um, we speak to the representatives to sort of review the most appropriate products for the scheme. We often talk about the size of the, um, the scale of the development, the types of windows we're looking for, and what we were trying to achieve in terms of the generous fenestration features of study bedrooms. So we also had quite complex interfaces on the external doors, the automation, the connections to the access control system. Uh, and Shuko were really um, supportive in terms of recommending products that would work there, liaising with ourselves and the building services team to realise that. And what I'm particularly proud of, or what we're particularly proud of of the project is, is the outcome. Um, is, uh, the building looks absolutely fantastic, it's very well designed, and I think all of the parts coming together and to see the final thing is, uh, is really impressive. Um, yeah, so I can see, I can really see why it won awards. We often recommend Shuko products to other architects mainly for their extensive range of profiles that they can offer and their ability to take on sort of complex design challenges uh, with ease. They, they'd be our go-to for anything where we have oversized windows, um, large packages of work and a need and desire to introduce bespoke elements um, and sort of integrate, uh, integrate the windows, I guess, to within sort of quite complex architectural details. Mm -hmm.